Hi guys, it's Sterling Spectre here. In today's video, we'll be going for a deep dive into what will happen when Ethereum 2.0 upgrade comes in later this year. To start this video, I'm going to be explaining quickly what Ethereum 2.0 is and when exactly it will come into place. So currently, Ethereum is a proof of work crypto, which means that miners use their computational resources to earn a rewards from each block they manage to complete. When the ETH 2.0 update comes in, the crypto will move to a proof of stake system. This is where anyone who stakes their Ethereum coins are considered a block validator. To validate a block, the network will randomly select the user who has staked their Ethereum and their coins become a validator of sorts. The more Ethereum you stake in the network, the more coins you receive as a reward. The reason for the switch is to improve the speed, efficiency and scalability of the network. The creator of Ethereum has said that this New update will take Ethereum to new heights as it will be able to drastically do more transactions. This in turn will alleviate congestion and high gas cost on the network. Upon reaching phase two, Ethereum will meet the goals of becoming a transparent and open network for decentralized applications and finance. The roadmap for Ethereum 2.0 has been set out and there are three main stages. The first being the beacon chain, then the merge and finally the shard chain. The first phase went live in December of 2020, and it's just a small update that lays the groundwork for nodes and staking in the future. The second phase has had some problems, and this is the merge. This is the phase that will wipe out mining from the network. It's had some problems because it has been pushed back multiple times. It was supposed to come in at the end of 2021, but has been pushed back, and they are saying it will probably go live around June of 2022. So for us miners, we have around six months of Ethereum mining left. And here lies the big question, what will happen to crypto mining when Ethereum 2.0 goes live? I'll be answering this question in the second half of this video, so stick around for that. So after the merge phase, there'll be a shard chains phase, which basically upgrades the whole network to allow for more capacity to process transactions and store data. So that's the basic overview of what Ethereum 2.0 is, and what will actually happen to the network when the update comes in. Now, the next part of this video, I'll be explaining what will happen to GPU mining when Ethereum 2.0 comes in. I just want to start by prefacing that this is only speculation and nobody knows for sure what will actually happen to mining. So this part of the video is what I personally think will happen. I'm going to start with one of the major problems, and that is the amount of hash rate on the network. Ethereum has a hash rate of around 950 terahash, and it continues to rise by the day. It will probably surpass one petahash soon. So because there's so much hash rate on the network, it has to go somewhere after the switch. The only place it can go is to other crypto networks. And here lies the problem. If all the hash rate from Ethereum is split into another crypto network, then it will drastically dilute the profits from these networks. As so many people will be mining these coins that it won't become as profitable. For example, Fluxcoin has a total network hash rate of 2.5 terahash. When Ethereum comes in, some of its hash rate will dilute into this coin. Let's say that it dilutes to the point where the network gets up to 10 terahash. So it goes from 2.5 terahash to 10 terahash. This is an increase of four times. This would have an inverse effect of lowering the profit of the coin by four times. So if you were making $10 a day, you would then in turn make $250 a day at 10 terahash. This will happen for all the other coins that can be mined using a GPU. If we go over to miningpoolstats.com, we can see the amount of hash rate that every coin has right now on their network. At the top is Bitcoin, which can't be mined by a GPU, so no hash rate will go to that network. And then in second, we have Ethereum. As stated before, Ethereum has a total network hash rate of 950. Now, all that hash rate isn't taken up by GPU mining. Some of it is taken up by ASIC miners. These are miners that can only mine a specific coin and are made to most efficiently mine a certain coin. Bitcoin right now is all mined by ASIC miners. I believe around 50% of the Ethereum network hash rate is taken up by these ASIC miners. This is a good thing, as that means that all the hashing power can't be switched on to mine any other coins. This effectively means that half of the Ethereum network is using GPUs to mine. In theory, only around 420 terahash would be diluted into these other coins. I personally believe that when Ethereum 2.0 comes in, a good percentage of people will sell off their GPUs. I'm going to go around with a figure of 20% will sell their GPUs. So if we take 20% off 420, it gives us a number of 335 terahash. Therefore, this 335 terahash will have to be split between all these other coins that can be mined using a GPU. 
This means that coins like Ravencoin or Dogecoin will have a lot of hash rate hit their network in June. This, as mentioned before, will lower the profit of these coins they make when mining. One way that this could be prevented is if the price of these coins go up dramatically. If the price goes up, then it will mean that these coins will be able to be more profitable after the Ethereum 2.0 update. So now I've explained what will happen when Ethereum 2.0 comes in. For this next part, I'm going to be going over my top coin picks for the aftermath of Ethereum 2.0. I've already previously made a video about this, but since making that video, two of my picks have overtaken Ethereum mining in profitability. I took the screenshot of what to mine today, and it shows that Flux is at the top, and then Ravencoin, then Cero, then Eternity. All these coins are making more profit than Ethereum currently. My picks in my previous video were Flux and Ravencoin, so I don't want to say I can predict the future, but some of my predictions are starting to come true. I definitely see that these two coins are the main future coins to mine, because Raven is also about to have a halving, and Flux's price keeps on rising every day. I personally have never mined Zero Coin, and I don't know much about it, but it continues to be at the top 5 of the mining profitability list. I'll do some more research and might even come out with a video on how to mine this coin in the future. Now the last on the list is Eternity. This is a very new coin to the mining sector of crypto. It only has around 200 people mining it in the world. If I'm correct about this coin, then I'd get into it now and start mining, because it could definitely 5x its price at least in the last year. It's also great as you could potentially solo mine this coin with little amount of hash rate. I'll definitely make a video on solo mining this coin in the future. So I've picked out four coins so far and I'm going to add one more and this is Ergo. Right now it's not as profitable as ETH because the price has just dropped, but I believe that this coin's price will start to ramp up in the next few months due to its strange way of block halving, as it in theory takes a percentage of the coin out of the pool and reduces the supply. Therefore, my list from top to bottom is Fluxcoin, Ravencoin, Serocoin, Eternity, and then Ergo. The last point I want to go over in this video is what the price of the GPUs will be when Ethereum 2.0 comes in. As you can see, this chart displays the prices of certain GPUs over a six month period. This chart is from the start of 2021. Clearly, you can see a trend that the price is rising slowly, and they have continued to rise through 2021. To give you some perspective, when the RTX 3060 Ti came out, it was worth $400. And now if you do a general search for it on eBay, they are, they are selling for around $1,300, which is more than triple the price that they are sold for at market price. In the future, leading up to Ethereum 2.0, I believe the prices will continue to rise. When it comes around to June, we can see a bottleneck happening for the GPU prices. A lot of people will start to sell off their GPUs and there'll be a massive supply. I believe there will be demand, but not enough. So I think GPU prices will tank in June to even under MSRP. And this may be for a few months and then they'll return to the MSRP price. From then onwards, nobody really knows what's going to happen to the GPU prices. So that's what I think is going to happen when Ethereum 2.0 goes live. Remember, this is only speculation and not everything I say can be taken as literal information. Most people don't actually know what will happen, but there are many things that have a high possibility of happening. My advice for any miners out there is that you guys should keep mining Ethereum all the way up until the switch. Then after that, I'd give the market time to settle before you start mining again. The reason for waiting is that many people might start mining random coins and it could turn out that these coins are worthless. So if you let the market settle, eventually there'll be a coin that starts to rise above the rest. That's when you should get back into mining and go for that coin. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys learned a lot about Ethereum 2.0 and what's going to happen when it comes in. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. For more content like this, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if you have any questions.